Hey, good morning to everybody. Look what we have. We have a 2016 X-Trail Hybrid. And in this episode, we're going to check this vehicle because the customer says that it's having a braking problem. Apparently, the braking is hard. It's supposed to be soft and smooth. For some reason, it's not working. Okay, so I hook up the scandal and after the health report, um, I'm seeing that the internal error in the audio navigation system, it's giving me an error in the sonar too. It's giving me an error with the power supply with the lane camera, but that's nothing. The customer didn't say anything about those. He just complaining about the brakes. So one of the things I'm noticing is that we have these two lights. Just a moment, let me close the door. There is this little whistling noise that never goes away. And the scantle says C1111 pump motor and C118E accumulator press. So here's one thing. One thing you need to understand about when it comes to hybrid and electric vehicles braking system. These braking systems do not use the air vacuum pump uh, boosters in order to smooth the pedal. This works different. This type of vehicles needs to use a power electric motor with a cylinder accumulator where it accumulates the pressure and that pressure is released every time you press the um, brake pedal and for some reason what I'm seeing over here first of all the motor is not I'm not hearing the motor the motor every time you get close into a hybrid electric vehicle I mean, when you're gonna start you always gonna hear that a little motor making a noise that means that the motor is charging the braking system but in this case that's not happening uh, I once I clear the code the code comes immediately again and once I'm trying to request manually with the scan tool to apply the motor to work nothing is going on either so i think we're having a motor problem so what, what i gotta do is just i gotta check that the motor is getting the proper signal and um see if it's working all right so stick around and we will continue let me just open up in the front and see what we got there all right yes indeed now that electric motor accumulator they belong to this unit here in the back. So I'm gonna have to take all this cover out and check the signal. So stick around and we will continue checking. Hello. All right, so we found the problem and I'm just gonna give you a quick explanation. First of all, how the system works compared to the normal vehicle and show you exactly what happened. So we took out the unit from the extra hybrid it's a complete unit so let me just give you a quick observation of the unit All right this is it this is the brake assembly now the brake assembly on the extra has a computer within it has the pressure sensors pressure sensors it has uh, the controller and has these output negative and positive power line to fit the electric motor that accumulates pressure in this accumulator all right so when you depress the brake pedal all right these pressure travels first of all to the unit and the unit is the one who gives you more or less power now, where, where does that power come from? Well, take a look. It comes directly from the accumulator. You see? 
and that accumulator is the one who injects the power inside the master cylinder which is this one the cylinder controller and this is the mechanical cylinder all right this is the one who finally reaches the pressure to the wheels to each one of the wheels okay but all the distribution comes first from this unit now let's make a quick quick comparison to a normal vehicle like for example this one this was just an example that i have over here the master cylinder unit with the brake reservoir but then we have the brake booster now this brake booster works different this is for normal vehicle so you need a airline that is connected directly to the intake of the vehicle which makes a vacuum pressure and that vacuum pressure allows the main brain inside over here to help the pressure to re to relieve the pressure when you press the pedal and the pedal will be pressing more smooth and of course a lot of more power so the brake will be very very much efficient now as i said in hybrid and electric vehicles you don't have that system there but why well First of all, because sometimes the hybrid and electric vehicle, will, or in this case, the X-Trail hybrid, sometimes you're driving the vehicle only in electric mode. So who's going to accumulate the pressure? Well, in this case, you're using an electric motor. Now, the problem is I am getting my signal from this main unit. It's sending the signal, but the motor is not started, so the motor is definitely in bad condition. So what are we going to do? We're just going to change this motor, assemble it back, and that should be ready. So, in conclusion, it's not a big deal, but apparently in this vehicle, in the X-Trail, this is happening a little bit often too, because this is not the first case. I had this case um, many times. So I was uh, kind of familiar with what was going on in this vehicle, so it didn't take me too long to, to diagnose. Once I saw the accumulator pressure and the low pressure code, I figure out and say, hey, wait, motor. So when I physically check the electric motor, just pinched the positive and negative with power, and the motor was not starting. And I also, you can remember, you can also request the motor to start by using the uh, scan tool, which I did, and it's not happening. So, in conclusion, when it comes to these external hybrids, um, that can happen to any other vehicle. Uh, I've seen it happen in Toyota too, Prius, um, Prius C, the Aqua. Just change the motor accumulator and that will fix your problem. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And one thing I wanted to mention before we go. I am preparing a master technical class for deep dive understanding hybrid batteries especially the toyota's one which are the batteries that require a little more often servicing but we're not going to do that until we have a little more followers so i i will strongly suggest follow and share the channel all right remember you got to support this because this is this is wonderful information that we are delivering to you guys with the best intention the idea is because this is the new market and uh, when you're trying to find technical or information that you really need but when it comes to fix this vehicle you're not finding that information in the internet so we're going to make a master class video totally free but we need more followers all right so support me and i'll see you guys in the next episode all right hybrid solution diagnostics a channel made for you i'll see you then bye bye